My man just mad and ain't pretty. I need fast feet or big spring. Gotta fix the server and it's too high. It's too high. My poor boys are going hard, man. It's too high. Wow. <laughs> um, hello, what's up? <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this first edition of the uh, Suze Under the Hood. And in this series, uh, we're going to look at uh, the most asked questions at our support department and how do they relate to our training offering. And uh, my uh, guest for uh, today, and I could say my co-presenter, is Eric Walker. Eric, can you introduce yourself uh, briefly to the audience today? Hello everyone, I'm Eric Walker, I'm uh, based in Prague and I'm the manager of the Frontline Support team here. It's lovely to be with you. Looking <laughs> forward to, to having a little chat about what we do here. Yeah, I'm very curious about that. Uh, my name is Emil Brock and at Susan I'm responsible for training uh, in EMEA. So uh, any questions on training in EMEA come to me. But now we are going to um, what is happening at the support department. So, can you briefly explain what the support department of SUSE does? The, the support department of SUSE is essentially vendor support for all our <coughs> customers who purchase the product. And uh, once they've been using it and they need to get uh, additional aid on things that are not just working the way the product is designed to, then they come to us and, and say, help. So <laughs> we try to. Uh, that's awesome, that's awesome. And if they come, um, I asked you before, what is the uh, question that you hear the most at the uh, support uh, department? Well, they have a lot of boot challenges and that has oh. nothing to do with football. That has to do with the fact that their systems cannot come up uh, and cannot run and function. And that's one of the most common questions that we get here. All right, and um, if, if they come with uh, boot uh, uh, challenges, what, what is the answer of uh, the support department? What do, do, do you say? It, well, we, we, have to, we have a look to see what the reason is that their system is not booting. And it could be for a couple of different you know, scenarios. If you take a BMW and drive it on the train tracks, you might not, it might not function the way you want right so mm -hmm. sometimes customers don't use use the product as it's designed or they configure their systems their storage that they need to get stuff from or get data from in a different place or they make major changes to the system and then when they try to bring the system back up it just doesn't respond the way it should because you know something has been changed in a in a strange way and uh, the system is saying hey something's wrong here uh, we can't uh, we can't bring everything back up, so it starts screaming. Okay, okay, and uh, I, I'm curious. Uh, this uh, element of the boot uh, process um, mm -hmm. is there a training course that you know of uh, in the SUSE portfolio that uh, exactly addresses this uh, boot challenges? Oh yeah, there is the SLE, you know, two hundred one version fifteen course um, yeah there's section six that specifically deals with that um with booting problems and how to initialize your system and get it back up so you can get your uptown funk going again as the song says <laughs> uptown funk yeah actually that was the song that we were listening for uh to in the beginning Indeed. yeah you're right um uh, quite a coincidence maybe but coincidentally i have exactly uh, sle 201 version 15 uh section six open here uh, we talk about uh, the, 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 the section called system initialization. It's going a lot about uh, group two. So I assume group two is then an important element in, this, uh, in these boot challenges? Oh yeah, indeed, indeed. Um, it, it goes through all the procedures and, and talks you through all the things that you need to do in order to get your system initialized properly, right? How to configure a hard disk, so they don't fail. Uh, uh, look, the genius is going to tell you all about <laughs> it. Listen to him. Yeah, I'm, I'm not listening to him. Uh, Richard Main, by the way, thank you very much, Richard. He's one of uh, the uh, training architects. So he's one of the people who also uh, creates and develops uh, the, the training courses that we have. And uh, this specifically is about uh, the, the boot challenge we're talking about. So um, if anyone has any questions uh, regarding the boot challenges, 
uh, make sure uh, that you reach out to uh, uh, suze.com slash training because uh, we have this training and this specific element um, both available for you through the e-learning that we uh, provide and also in the uh, ILT which is an abbreviation for instructor-led training so through uh, an instructor and through self-study you can uh, obtain that uh, knowledge and these skills around the boot process all right i think that's that's a wrap that's pretty much it uh then uh, uh back to the song because uh, uptime yeah. funk uh is it one of your favorites eric it is indeed it's really catchy and jazzy and well it <laughs> really gets your spirits up just the same as it gets machined up if you boot it properly <laughs> <laughs> exactly right all right well thank you everyone uh for watching uh, I, i'm going uh, back to the uh, to the shades here and uh, listen yeah. to Uptime Funk again. Uh, thank you very much. See you in the next episode where we will talk about the second most asked question at the support department. Here we go. Don't reboot it, just pass. 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 Hey.